Hello, this is Alan with Collecting Maddox. Today I'm going to go over a book here about hot dogs. Specifically, hot dogs in Chicago. It's no longer around. When I was younger, in my when my wife was still going to to Paul, we would go out there pretty regularly. I remember going there the first time and being absolutely amazed. This is probably one of the best restaurants I've ever eaten in my entire life. Now you're going to ask... What do they serve? What does hot dogs serve? They serve hot dogs, sausages, and french fries. That is all. They don't want to serve anything else. They didn't want to serve anything else. That was it. They were an absolute staple within the Chicagoland. I loved every minute I was there. And I bought this book a while back and kind of just wanted to show this. Nobody was asking for any hot dog content. But I've seemed to have gone down quite the path recently in the past two videos, and I'm going to keep on going for more of just humor within myself and enjoyment of myself of finding it hilarious. So I wanted to read two little excerpts from this book. <clears throat> um, just a little background. Here's the menu here, the original menu, and he would always name things very interestingly. Uh, basically, based off of whatever he was interested within that day, there was always the Elvis. That was kind of a consistent one. Uh, he, he was always a big Elvis fan. He really just wanted to sit there, listen to music, listen to baseball games. Uh, the one I wanted to bring up here was the Rick Russell. You can see that's a chicken sausage, uh, classic Italian style, and zesty, zesty Santa Fe style. So goes a little bit into why he named it what he did, and I'm going to read that as well. The Rick Russell. All right. I love baseball. By birthright, I'm sad, saddled by, with rooting for the Cubs. Rick is my all-time favorite baseball player for two reasons. One, he was the best player on the team of my youth. And more importantly, two, I love the fact that the guy was relatively the same physique as myself, could still be a dominant athlete. Just amazing. So as the hot dog, as he grew a little bit older, he would always change the names. So you can see that the Elvis stuck around forever. And there was a few other ones. Um, you can see the Britney Spears was always the girl he was interested in at the time. So it moved from the Britney Spears to the Jennifer Gardner. Kira Knightley, and Anna Kendrick. The Rick Russell moved from Rick Russell to the Sean Dunstan, to Dave Kingman, to Steve Swisher. And the last little comment here that I'll give is so many cubs, so much wasted youth. You can't uh, say anything better about being a Cubs fan. But this was a great book. Um, there's also a lot of just fun other stuff within there. So if anybody else has any other fun hot dog content, please let me know. I'd love to hear it. I know I've continued on this hot dog kick for a while now. But I hope you appreciate it. Thank you.